Hello, Scorpio. Ha, to think, who am I doing now? Okay, this is for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus sign. This is your full moon reading. And it will be uploaded sometime tonight. And it's the full moon harvest reading. So let's see what is going on for you guys. This is for the month of October till the next month. Or, well, actually, maybe it was already what you harvested. Hmm, let's see. Give this a better shuffle because that wasn't that good. These are so big, they're really hard to shuffle. Okay. So, for those of you that are just wanting to see the cards after I'm done, um putting out the cards and if you think you have a pretty good idea of what's going on you know and everything then you guys can both just say hi and bye but um i'm going to go into story time and i'm going to read from the book what each card means so that way you guys get a better clarity so if you want to stick around after i'm done laying out the cards then yeah we'll have fun you guys could just turn <laughs> turn off the lights lay back and just listen so this is for scorpio sun moon rising and venus sign your full moon harvest what are you harvesting sorry it's a couple days late well i apologize for being a couple days late scorpio give this a couple shuffles two more this is scorpio Full moon harvest. What is it? They harvesting. What is they harvesting? That's really elegant language, right? <laughs> and here we go. So, what is it that you want, Scorpio? And we have, be courageous, truth conquers all. So, there's something that maybe you need to go and say the truth about, and you're just holding it back in because you're afraid of what the repercussion might be you're afraid of what the response might be you're afraid to be assertive and say this is what i want because they might leave you never know you know stating what you want is um something that we want and once we state our want then you know that person can give us what we want or they have a choice to not give us a, what we want or compromise with us. And um, if they don't want to give us what we want, then that leaves us unhappy, right? Because we want something. And so if they don't want to give it to us, then they should just not be in the picture. Because that way we're not being unhappy. We can always go find our want somewhere else. There's a million trillion people, well, not trillion. There's over, what, 6 billion people or 7 billion people on this planet. So that one person that is not wanting to give you what you want, then you can find that in one of the other 7 billion people. So that's how life should be, right? Because we should always have our needs met and our wants met and, you know, to build, have a peaceful, happy life. So what is it that you're needing to sow? Like, what kind of seeds are you needing to sow for this right here? This says, follow your heart. Aw. So you're needing to just follow your heart and go with what feels really good. That's what I would believe. What kind of new belief is going to be brought in or that you're needing to believe in? Maybe that you don't have now or what belief is there that you may have that's needing to be brought into focus to be able to get this right here, to be able to do this. And it's new hope for the future. New energies are coming in. That's pretty cool. <laughs> See? Aw. Just put it where it's not flashing. I don't know if you can see that or not. There. Wait, oops, there. Jeez. There. That's cute. Oh, look at, and there's a little baby in the background. Just cute. Alrighty. So, new hope, huh? Hmm. 
so you have to have faith in the future and you have to just have faith that what you want if you ask for it you'll be able to get it you just have to have that faith i guess we'll see what these cards say later what is who or what is it that you need to help you with this endeavor and we have loving with an open heart or love with an open heart so basically you need to just be open and well it says follow your heart be courageous truth there's a lot of love here so maybe this might be about a relationship we'll find out so what are your challenges hmm something that you have doubt in which would be something like this going and being open and honest with what your needs are regeneration death and rebirth so you're having to maybe end something in re in an old way end an old way maybe and relearn how to live in a whole new way with goodness in your heart and all that so what are you harvesting or what have you harvested this full moon create and activate your dna geez this is the same i think um i got this in libras too i think unless theirs was in the the um their wants so that's like going in and using all the stuff from way back when way 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 back every little piece of dna goes so far back it's just too too much to even think you know it's like so big you've got so many ancestors in your blood right now do you even realize that i mean wow can you imagine if you activated all the dna that's like lying dormant and asleep inside of you Ooh. imagine that <laughs> that's like just i mean well i wouldn't go there but well i guess i can because i've already gone there already with this one it's like having um your com we are we're on computers and we're on iphones and phones and we've got so much technology that is like so mind-blowing and while well, imagine your mind start becoming blown <laughs> i mean just opening up all kinds of stuff i mean we're in touch with so much stuff we have it all at our fingertips and so it's just overwhelming almost to even think about what could happen if you started activating the sleeping dna in your body Whew. so the key to all of this right here is look through the mist and find the mystery see that at least i didn't get the glow on it <laughs> you have to hold it over here to this side i guess hmm. so yeah look into the mist and find the mystery there you go so look through the mist and find the mystery what does that mean to you scorpio the key to all this stuff right here including using your dna having your dna activating that and having new hope for the future maybe you're starting to like open up see things in a different light so now we're gonna go to storybook time <laughs> using this book so in your wants we have courageous truth conquers all and we have the painting is called truth conquers all let me find it and i will read it for you okay knowledge of a situation dispels the fear of the unknown this will lead to illumination and freedom a sinclair knight sits on the bridge leading to the roslyn castle underneath him is a secret subterranean passageway leading to the vaults of the roslyn chapel he looks out with anticipation wondering when the vaults will be opened and their scrolls of wisdom revealed the only words carved in the stone at, of roslyn chapel are what wine is strong the king is stronger women are stronger still 
but truth conquers all. Hmm. <laughs> well, look at that. Now that's like these scrolls are like what inside they're like inside these vaults or whatever. There's stuff in there and here we're you're activating DNA, so hmm. That just is one of those twilight moment deals, right? Do 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 do. <laughs> okay, so what seeds you're needing to sow is follow your heart and it's called fairy love so we'll find that one the alchemy all alchemy I can't even say alchemical marriage depends on the right balance of opposites listen to your heart, mind, and spirit. The king and queen are equal partners. The fairy lovers come together knowing the winds must dance between them at times. They are equal partners. This entails being able to think beyond self and allowing the other partner to pursue their own soul path whilst keeping the magic alive. Only through mutual respect and with the highest love can this happen. The harmonious synthesis that results in the alchemy of creation and true happiness. This painting is set in St. Necton's Glen in Cornwall. It is an old her hermitage and fairy glen. It is said that when Tristan and Isolde left King Mark's castle at Tintagall, they lived for a time in the world near in the wood near a hermitage. This site is hidden in the damp forest close to Tintagal. A Necton was an ancient Celtic water god, possibly the origin of the hermit's name. Fairy energies are often caught on film in this area. Hmm. So that's pretty cool, eh? <laughs> so, the, new, the belief that you're needing to hold or bring into this is um, the have hope for the future. New energies are coming in. And the painting is called The Star Sea Children. So maybe you have a star seed or you are a star seed, right? Nurture the star child. Provide what is needed for the work. This bright being may be within your one within your core family or within yourself. Children have been incarnating to assist us in the planetary transitions to come. These star seeds have the mindset to deal with the Earth's problem problems with new and innovative solutions. They carry knowledge from the more positive civilizations existing in outer or inner space. These children and adults can psychically read other people like a book and possess intuitive abilities that safeguard them from the attempts to manipulate them. They can be known by a detached but determined sense of purpose as well as highly evolved talents in the arts and sciences. Hmm. Is this you, Scorpio? Or is this someone that you've born, Scorpio? Or is this someone that you know? So who or what's going to help you? And it says love with an open heart. And the name of the painting is Anoint Your Beloved. Hmm. Keep your love sacred with ceremony. Take time apart from the mundane world to be with your partner. Whether under the trees and stars or in the inner sanctum of your home, take part in a ritual honoring your love and each other. Aromatherapy oils and incense can enhance your ceremony. Imagine the smoke of the fire or incense carrying your invocations and 
devotions up into the celestial realms. An altar may be created by both of you with some precious things gathered from your many experiences together. Each one is then being charged with significance from being there. Stop a moment to com contemplate there. Stop a moment that contemplate them. Appreciate each other and the value of unconditional love. Spending this time reinforces your relationship, making it an alchem alchemical marriage of yin and yang energies together, creating a powerful and endearing bond. Wow. Okay, now I'm just like beginning to think this is like major relationship that you're working with. And just wow, maybe you're needing to hear this today. So your challenges is regeneration, death, and rebirth. And it's the great goddess. So we'll get to her really quick. And we'll read that one for you. And you can look at the picture. One life cycle ends and another begins. Flow with the cosmic rhythms to become the master of your own fate. We all go through a period of dissolution, dissolution and breaking down. What we don't often realize at the time is that this is necessary to move forward, break a cycle, and move into the next phase of our lives, which may be full of even greater opportunities than we can imagine from the current vantage point. Instead of going against the tide, pull into shore for a while to contemplate. Keep your eyes wide open and be ready to leap. The goddess gives gifts as well as taking them away. The butterflies represent the soul. And what is it you're harvesting? And we have create and activate your DNA. And the painting is called Beneath the Veil of Sophie, Sophia. Let the arts be a catalyst to bringing your inner visions and ideas into form. Anything you can dream, you have the power to create. Sophia is often referred to as the goddess of wisdom or of the ruled soul. In Central and Eastern Europe, she is still revered today as the bride of God and the primal force and vehicle of creation. In the Grell Castle of Karlstein, a distinction is still made between her and Mary. Sophia is the woman clothed with the sun, with moon under her feet and twelve stars above her head, while Mary is being carried by angels to her. In this painting, Sophia is unveiling herself as creatrix. Her hair turns into DNA from which lightning strikes the sea, as scientists suggest may have been the catalyst between life on earth and the key is for you to look through the veil the mist and find the mystery and this painting is called uh what is it oh god i can't even see it's iru's eyes hmm Don't cloud your judgment with doubt. Believe the secret of divine creation is within you. The goddess is waiting to help you manifest your dreams. The Skellig Islands are off the southwest coast of Ireland. Also in the west was Turna Nog, <laughs> the enchanted land of the Tuatha de Danam, Daman. This was a place of eternal youth and magic recorded in song, verse, and prose of the Irish mystery tradition. In the diffused light of the other world, the goddess Iru, who is the namesake of Ireland, peers out of the mist over little Skellig Island. The thousands of gametes that nest there 
swirl up into the sky, creating an ethereal halo above her ethereal halo above her head. In the sixth century, monks settled on this Gallic Michael, eight miles from shore. This was one of the shore shore houses of literature, music, and history that saved European culture from extinction in the dark ages. In the foreground, the enigmatic dolphin, Fungi, a wild resident of the Dingle Peninsula, frolics in the waves. Do you see him? There he is, right there. Right, right there. Do, 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 do. So, I hope you guys enjoyed that. Like, share, comment, and subscribe, and I will be reading another one next month on the full moon. So thank you for watching, and enjoy.